shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. All right. Oh man. The ash. That is horrible. Okay. Let's move over. Oh. Hi, crusties. We're gonna make it work. Oh, look my little dry bun. Listen, this could set the world on fire. <laughs> That's how dry it is. Hey, YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. Anyway, nothing matters, right? So I'm just going to bake cookies. That's what we're gonna do in this video. You will need, let me check. Two sticks of butter, some brown sugar, okay. I have, the recipe calls for light-skinned brown sugar. I have dark-skinned brown sugar, so. Um, and I mean, it turned out fine. So let's get some melanated sugar. Caucasian sugar. I might have just enough for this recipe. Two eggs, because you're gonna need one whole egg and then the egg yolk. You need vanilla extract. Vanilla Engstrand. <laughs> okay, we got some all-purpose flour, and I think this is also flour. One can hope. Milk powder. Now, milk powder is dried like milk. Oh, you wanna see it? You wanna see it? Okay. Come on, yep. That's what it looks like. I don't know. You need a little kosher salt, baking powder, and you need baking soda. Hold on. I found some baking soda, chocolate chips. This is what I had left. Some Girardellis, you know what I'm saying? I have maybe a fourth of the bag left. And from last time I made these, I actually wished the chips were smaller. So I'll kind of chop these up. You'll, you'll see. Now that we have our ingredients, we're going to combine them in a manner like such as, according to the recipe, which I will link in the video description box. Go ahead, follow Holly if you like food. <laughs> Set this to 375. Okay, ooh, yes, yes, yes. And then I'm going to try and set things up in such a way that doesn't frustrate me while I film, while I try and make cookies and film it at the same time. Okay, we're gonna take four tablespoons of butter, room temperature, so it's like soft and pliable. I'm just gonna melt that until it's uh, nice and uh, melted. Cause what we're doing is we're browning the butter and that gives it a nice toasty flavor. That's, 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 that's what I had heard, okay? So keep an eye on it. You don't want it to burn. <laughs> Just keep an eye on it. Ooh. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's starting to brown. And you wanna scrape that. You wanna scrape those brown bits cause that's where the flavor's at, you feel me? Okay, it's gonna burn. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay. Scrape all the brown, scrape, scrape, scrape all the brown, okay? We kind of let this get away from us. We let this get away from, I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put you down. Then, oh Jesus, oh Lord. Are we still recording? Okay, then you add the rest of the butter to the melted butter. Look at that, look at that. All that brown. We took it off the heat. Ooh. So it's not currently on the heat. It's, I'm just using the heat of the pot to melt down the rest of the ba'a. Ba'a. So while I keep stirring this butter, what's up with y'all? Uh, what's going on? Right now, uh, I'm watching all the Harry Potter movies in order. Um, no, I haven't read the books. No, I'm not going to right now. So you can, you don't have to. You can save the typing space. Leave a comment if um, your parents thought Harry Potter was the devil, so that's why you were never allowed to read them. Banned! Butter's melted! That smooth butter, look those little, them brown chunks. That's the flavor. The flavor all up in there. Hey. Next, we 
are going to add our sugars. I literally had just enough of the white sugar. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. Oh my gosh, this is just butter and sugar, y'all. Oh my God. This is a great recipe if you're one of those people who um, likes chocolate chip cookies without the chocolate chips. It creates a very flavorful base cookie. It's what I think plain cookies should be instead of sugar cookies. I think sugar cookies are disgusting. All right, that's looking kind of uh, not like the picture. Egg. Okay, we got one egg yolk. Vanilla extract. And just a, just a smidgen, a smidgen more. It smells so good. Look at that. Sugar cookie wear. We're stirring. I have just lost all motivation in all things. I did spill on here. Oh my God, didn't nobody, you didn't tell me. I have no motivation to do anything. And I'm actually surprised at how being stuck in the house has affected me because I work from home normally, but it's like the option has been taken away. Oh, it smells so good. The cookie dough's looking good. I wish you could smell this. It smells so bleaking good. Okay, now we're gonna add our chocolate chips. We got the big chips and then we got some little, little pieces. We got our cookie dough that you can barely see. Baking sheet with little silicone baking sheet liner thing. Whoop. The, is this still dirty? What? We got these big old cookies on the, on the cookie sheet for a little bit of chaos. Put one in the corner. So the cookies are in the oven. Let me get a little dip of this cookie dough. Now that's scrum diddlyumptious. So I've been feeling this overwhelming sense of like, what's the point of striving for anything? Like short of living, you know, and being healthy, anything else is just extra. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, why do anything more? <laughs> when do it becomes, shout out to all my freelancers. I had a couple gigs get canceled. Well, you know what it is? It's the uncertainty of not knowing who is going to make the decision and do we trust said person to be like, okay, we can resume something. Cause things gotta be resumed somewhere or don't they? I don't know. And I had this moment of like, wow, when, when am I gonna get to see my parents again? Am I going to have to like, celebrate my birthday inside. I don't know if I will be okay. I'm just gonna let you know, as the child of the equator, I don't know if I'm gonna be okay. I thought I would be able to dodge productivity Instagram, you know, soon, or productivity YouTube. Ah, oh, but I didn't, you know, I got caught in the crosshairs. It is what it is. Did I have a breakdown about unpaid invoices? Yeah. Did I only eat hot Cheetos? On, on one of the days? Yeah. Did I get a stomach ache? Yeah. Have I brushed my teeth today? Well, <laughs> next question. Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. I've been a Squarespace customer for years. Paying customer for years. I'm gonna let voice over Evelyn take it away. Squarespace gives you a powerful and beautiful online platform to create your own website. I use it as a landing page where you can learn more about me, what I do, and how we can work together. There are blogging tools that allow you to share and schedule out your posts, Squarespace email campaigns to help your business stand out, and if you scroll to the bottom of my website or click the link in the video description box, you can sign up for my email newsletter. I'll slide into your inbox on a monthly-ish basis with exclusive content, as they say, stuff that makes you think, makes you laugh, and throw in some doodles for funsies. 
and you can authenticate with your social media profiles, which lets you auto post to Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. Visit squarespace.com for a free trial, check things out, play around, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Evelyn from the internets to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. It's not business as usual, even for me. Just looking at my website, I was like, what's the point of anything? <laughs> Look at this girl striving for once. I hope my therapist isn't watching this. <laughs> this is a cry for help. I'm gonna check on the cookies. Whoops, I made these entirely too big. <laughs> so this is the good batch. This is the ooey gooey batch for the thumbnail. Don't focus on my face, focus on the cookie. Impromptu smack your lip. It's perfect. Mm. The edges are nice and crispy, but the center is nice and pliable. Not doughy, pliable. Okay, it got some give to it. It's not gonna Thanos dust into, <laughs> into the atmosphere. This recipe is technically for salted chocolate chip cookies. I liked it the first time, but I want to pare down the salt just a little bit. Um, and so instead of one and a half teaspoons, I just did a half teaspoon of salt. Look at that. Oh, see, it was kind of, mm, Fantastico. I'm happier. I believe in emotional eating. The second batch was um, a little gooier than I personally like. And I think it's because they were way too big and I had to put them on the bottom rack. So the outside cooked very fast compared to the inside, but these edges are better than my edges, I'll tell you what. Yes, I'm eating off the floor. Oh no. A valiant effort, I think. A noble endeavor, in my opinion. In the comments below, <clears throat> tell me what you're doing in the house. And if you're not in the house, you can tell me how mad you are that you gotta be at the house while everybody is in the house. Let me know. Shout out to Squarespace. And I will see you on the internet somewhere.